Hi everybody and welcome to the 69th Hammer Tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a key card system. Like back in Duke Nukem when you're walking through a level you're completely lost. You find the door you need to go through and it says you need the red key to go through this door. So I'm going to show you how to make a key system. So first thing I have in my map is I have a little key card that I have made out of brushes to just represent old school key card. And this door over here which we only want people to be able to go through that have the key. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is get your tools trigger brush and create a trigger over the area where the player will receive the key. It doesn't need to be fancy. It just needs to look decent. Okay, so now that that's done, press Control T, make it a funk multiple. I mean a trigger multiple. You can do funk once as well, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now go to the outputs tab and hit add. On start touch. And I'm going to want to kill my funk rotating, which is the key display. And now we're actually going to name the player. So do add on start touch, exclamation mark, activator. Via this input, add output. Now this is the part that actually names the player under with parameter override put target name and then space I have red key. And you just want to fire once on all of these. Okay. Now the player has actually just been named. It won't change their name in game, but to all the entities in the map he is now named I have red key. So after he's picked that up, you can parent something to him instead of having them pick up a weapon and having something following them. You can actually name them and have something follow them. They'll never lose it then if they drop a weapon. Next thing we're going to want to do is create a filter activator name. And then you want to copy the name that you gave him. So I have red key. You want to put this into filter name. Apply OK. And then under name for this, you want it to be filter I have key red. Then you want to allow entities that match the criteria. And we're also going to do a little uh, HUD hint here to show player players what they have. So copy this and then make it I need red key. And then disallow entities that match the criteria. So now we're going to want to go over to our door and create a another trigger multiple, which is going to act as the door opener. Just control T, trigger multiple. You want to set its filter name to I have red key. Add on start touch door open copy paste on end touch door close now we want to create two NV HUD hints these will tell the player that he either has picked up the key or he needs the key so all you need to do is create NV HUD hint and then you want to do hint I have the key and then under hint text localized all you want to do is put you have picked up the red key and then put that somewhere and then you want to copy and paste it again and then hint I need the key and then you need to put you need the red key to access this door. Apply OK. And now under our trigger that tells that, that gives the player the key, you want to add on start touch. I have the key. Show HUD hint. Fire only once, yes. Now you want to create a second trigger multiple over by the door. So you can just copy that and move it back. And this one is going to be the one that tells them that they need the key. So you need to change the filter to I need the key. 
and other outputs, you want to remove the ones that open the door. Click Add on Start Touch. I need the key. Show HUD hint. Now, the HUD hints will disappear after a little while, but you can force them to disappear with the hide hint. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to do on end touch, I need the key, hide hint after one second of leaving the brush. And then you can do that. And this one will just dissipate over time. Okay. Okay. So what I have just learned is from a small test run is that it does not rename you at the start of a new round. So you're going to want to create a trigger multiple filter name. I have the red key. You only want this to apply to the people with the key. You want its name to be key name reset. Then under outputs, click add on start touch, exclamation point activator. Then add output, target name, then just choose like player or something they just need to not be I have the red key fire only once yes and now you need to add a logic auto and click add on map spawn you want to disable this entity after about two seconds or just after time after they've been able to be renamed because the problem is is that you walk through this after you've picked up the key because it hasn't triggered yet so it'll rename you back to player and then you can't get the key because the key is a one-time only thing so once you've been renamed you cannot get the key so all the logic auto does is disable it so it doesn't rename you after you've picked up the key so I'm going to compile this and then I will see you in counter-strike okay so here I am in counter-strike walk onto this it'll say you need the red key to access the store it'll display right above your cache so, go pick up the red key. It'll get rid of that, and they say you have picked up the red key. Come over here now. Get access because we are a proud owner of a red key. No? Can I say? And walk over the door says you need the red key to access this door again now if I didn't put that trigger to rename me at round spawn I would still be able to access that door which isn't good so we go pick up the red key again come on over here and there we go you have picked up the red key and we can access the door so I hope this tutorial helped you create you a perfect flawless key system thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe